And this is Captain Couch, and today I'm going to give you a tutorial. You might have seen the video I made with me playing Super Mario 64 with an Xbox 360 controller. Today I'm going to teach you how to do that. So, first off, your controller needs to be a wired one, or you need a wireless adapter for the controller. You can get those at Walmart for 20 bucks, or they were 20 bucks the last time I checked. So, after you've plugged in the controller, you can do this optional step if you want. Make sure that everything's working all right. You can go down to Start, Control Panel. And if you're at the Home menu, then you can go down to Hardware and Sound. Scroll down to Game Controllers. And you'll find this menu. If you're in Classic View, all you will need to do is go to Game Controllers. So now that we have this window open, we can see your Xbox 360 controller in the list of installed game controllers. Now if it's not in the list, it means the drivers might not have been installed correctly. That means you'll need to download them and install them manually. And I have a link for that if you need that. So here, click on Properties, and you'll get this dialog window. Now, you'll see these displays will light up with each button you press. You can check this out and make sure that everything's alright if you want. Everything checks out alright. Controller back and now, done with that. Click OK. Close Control Panel. And now open Project 64. From here, go to Options and configure controller plugin. Normally this will start out with none, but you'll want to scroll it down to controller, Xbox 360 for Windows, and make sure controller is plugged in is ticked. So now you need to map the controls. With the analog stick, the way I have this set up, you can set it up whatever way you want. I have the left analog stick left, just tap it left, right, tap it right, up, you know, you get it. And for the A, B, S, L, R, Z buttons, A is the Xbox button A, B is the Xbox button B, and S, start, L, left trigger, R, right trigger, and Z, I have as right bumper, so it's a little bit like a GameCube controller. And now for C buttons, I set the right analog stick up to be used as the C button, so it's like a classic controller for Wii, if you want to put it in that sense. So L, R, U, D, up, down, you know, it's self-explanatory. And digital, which is the D-pad, I just use the D-pad for the 360, left, right, up, down, and you get it. So that's really all you need to do. And now... You can choose whatever game you want to play. And that's pretty much it. So this is Captain Couch, and I'll see you next time.